Hey guys, what's going on today? We have a mega unboxing of the components that come with the Fnatic Podium Wheel R300. Let's go ahead and get right into the video. So the first thing I have here today is the Button Cluster R300. The reason I didn't take this out of the box, it, this uh, like stale box, is because I don't think it, there's another box in here. So I'm just going to go and... Actually, so yeah, it's just... A, uh, components itself this is uh, this comes with two button clusters just like the standard universal hub but this is for the podium wheel here let me go ahead and this is for the podium hub which i have right there in the bag it mm, these are actually stuck down in here so neatly silica gel and some bolts and nuts and some some screws and some washers i think i'm not quite sure what i'm supposed to do here also if i have a bloody nose i'm sorry uh my got a little excited and my camera thing fell on me and it gave me a bloody nose all right so here is actually it actually does come in a little bit of packaging yeah that's what it looks like it says fanatic and club sport these are actually club sport button clusters i don't think they make podium it's just kind of the same i'm assuming this will be and this goes on here somewhere and then an identical one or one that goes on the other side there i'm gonna go ahead and put these on our table we will look at those later put all the packaging aside and so next up what i want to look at is this podium hub this actually comes in a nice black box it says fanatic and of course it has the the classic lotus paint scheme going on uh which is for the podium branding go ahead Okay, it has some, has some standard uh, foam, black foam. Feels very premium, just like standard for night products. Wow, look at this. So, immediately, wow, this is heavier than I expected. So, I don't, it doesn't appear to have any grease on it, but wow, this is this is bigger than I expected too. You can see my hand and you know, my hand's pretty big and. It has the uh, plate well, held on just with the three little Allen wrenches. And let's see what else comes in the box. This is a set screw that you actually get with every single Fanatic product. Some more silica gel and a little Allen wrench. This thing right here actually goes in your podium base just to make sure everything is super sturdy and eliminates all of the quick release flex. If you look down there, I think it won't pick up on camera, but there's actually like some grease in there. So... That's a promising sign that this is lubricated and the bearings and the bearings have grease on them as well. Upon further inspection, I'm going to put this in the box. Take a look at it when we assemble everything. Comes with instructions. Now we're going to go ahead and get on to the biggest piece of this unboxing. This is the actual R300 steering wheel itself. And then, oh, so this isn't a box. I didn't think they'd come in a box, but maybe they do for podium owners. Okay, so I don't think this has any tape on it. It should be in, yep. Wow, I see it already. Oh my god. Wait a second. Is this the Porsche wheel? Oh no, okay. <laughs> for a second, I saw that uh, yellow stripe and I forgot this thing had a yellow stripe. Wow. Oh my gosh, dude. This thing is crazy. Wow. Wee this thing is the perfect size literally the perfect size on the pictures it looked a whole lot um bigger than this but i love this size it's a perfect race car size so and it feels phenomenal this leather is crazy it comes with yellowy gold um screws and i'm assuming these are maybe if you don't want the gold ones or maybe something else we'll have to find out now i guess what's left is to combine everything and also i have my advanced paddle module if you didn't check out that video it'll be up here I'm gonna get the podium hub i just kind of set out all my supplies we gotta get the hub the button modules the shifters and then we'll do a bit of a time lapse or we'll see how it goes to fit this stuff okay got our podium stuff from a couple days ago tool stuck on it scissors Allen wrench included all right so we have all our supplies we have the wheel itself the podium hub and the podium paddle shifters 
All right, so I couldn't find a video specific to the podium hub, so I'm just gonna kind of work as we go. So I know you have to take off these, and I'm kind of judging how tight this is. So that wasn't very tight, so I don't know if it's just because they know we're gonna take them out or not. Okay. And then repeat the process for the other two bolts. Take those out. All right, so now we can lift this and there's the circuit board in there and what we connect all of our stuff to. So obviously one for, or two for the paddles and two for the button clusters and presumably one for the podium module endurance which y'all will have a video on soon. So I'm gonna be able to just route it through once I mount the paddle surface. I'm gonna line this up. This is kind of hard to capture on camera, but I just gotta build it first and then I'll explain what I'm doing. So yeah, this goes in perfect. I'm just gonna get it about finger tight for now. Now I'm just screwing these in, but now I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other side, maybe a little harder because of the paddle down here, but nonetheless, it'll get done. These are nicely cable managed by wire ties, so that's good. All right, so now we have both paddles snug. We're just going to connect the uh, individual wires now. All right, so let me show you what we're about to do. So these corresponding sides are gonna go into these right here and should be simple as ever. But like a lot of things, they're not as simple as they may come across. There is a slight offset of the pins and the connector to show you which way to plug it in. So take note of that. All right, I heard, a, I heard a very, very faint snap. So that means they should be locked in, ready to go. So I'm just gonna do the other, to the other side. So if you're visually impaired, the little raised piece needs to go to the paddle shifter. The two positive clicks, let me just show you how everything is in here. This is how it is right now. And for the meantime, I'm gonna figure out a way how to kind of, well, we'll do that once we get this all situated, now we have to mount the button cluster mod. Whoa. So here are them, and I'm just gonna kinda get a scope for everything and how everything mounts up, and then I will be right back. So obviously, if you look at these, these are super tiny, and if you have this in hand, the two at the bottom on the outside, this is where this is gonna click into place. And so now, I just have to figure out how these mount to the wheel and where to mount them all right update i figured out how to mount the button cluster itself so you have two holes for mm, it's kind of it's kind of not focusing but you have your triangle pattern and your 70 millimeter these actually line up here well of course it'll be you know the wires will be tucked in but you're gonna go like this and mount these then put the wheel on top of the it so the first thing i'm gonna do in installing this is figure out which way these things go so just kind of hold everything out yeah so this is the left so i'm gonna you're gonna want to look at your pin and there's a little raised bit the raised bit goes down always goes down if you're uh, seeing impaired and also there's a little groove that it goes in Here and admire the beauty now you want to get here let me set you guys down open up your bag of 
um, mounting bolts for your wheel. Beautiful. In this case, we're using the six hole pattern. So you're gonna want to line it up, but we're actually just kind of get these in position to be lined up. And I think it's gonna be hard to capture on camera, which is, so just go ahead and get that up there. You know, everything on this wheel is magnet except this. <laughs> Okay, you got to get both of them on. Well, actually, I'm not so sure you can do one at a time and just swing your wheel around. So, I'm going to try that approach. And so, we're just screwing. We're not going to tighten this in all the way so we can still move it around. And line everything up and find how it goes. And then screw it in rough draft style. Well, that's not the right one, but you can do it by hand. It, it doesn't need to be perfectly straight because it's still loose and it's maneuverable. Mm, sorry, my hand's in the way and it's probably not focused. I'm just tired and I'm making do with what I got here. And I'm, of course, super excited to get my new wheel. So, And that's basically it. I hope you guys liked it. My camera's about to die, so I'm kind of in a hurry and I don't have any more batteries on uh, on deck charged. But... I really, really like this wheel so far, and I cannot wait to use it and race with it. And over here, you can't really tell, but, well, you can. That, that's a DD2. And so there's going to be a video in the next couple of days of a DD2, unboxing and first impression. And so I hope you learned a lot on how to install this. I certainly did. I kind of talked. I didn't watch any videos because I couldn't find one. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.